Soon the curtain will raise on the latest production from the Station Theater. And joining me today with details on falsettos are producing artistic director Jacqueline Lowenstein and music director Caitlin Richardson. Welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for having us. Absolutely. We're excited to get a sneak peek of your production. Um, tell us about falsettos. Well, it is a very poignant uh, musical about a very specific time in history. Um, <laughs> At that time, as you might be able to guess from what I'm wearing, is not today. Um, <laughs> you don't wear this every day? Ah, uh, no. Uh, <laughs> and I think we should point out to the audience that you also play a role in the show. I You're do. Trina. I play Trina, who is the wife of Marvin, ex-wife of Marvin, um, and he's kind of the, the central character. It's a small cast production, seven people, and um, we, it is set in the, in the late 70s, early 80s. This is my 80s outfit, um, and uh, <laughs> it's fun. That's um, awesome. The 80s were a special time for so were. many people. They were, yes. No, As a child of the 80s, I can relate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah. There's a lot of nostalgia in the show, I think, yes. and um, as Caitlin was saying, it, it brings up uh, issues of family, um, a Jewish family in this case, around the dawn of the AIDS crisis. So it deals with some serious topics and also um, planning for their son's bar mitzvah and you know a lot of a lot of really really hilariously funny. Um, moments and also some pretty heartbreaking, touching moments. Yeah, so it's it's comedy, but it's hitting some very important social issues, some cultural issues, different things that uh, were handled differently in a different time. Yes. And so you guys are bringing that to the stage now. This was meant to play years before Caitlin, right during COVID, but you guys got shut down. Yes. So that in 2020, because of the pandemic, uh, they weren't able to produce the show. Um, I think it was. It was all the way up until, like, it was due dress. To open, it was due to open in April of 2020. Oh, my okay. gosh. So right at so the very beginning. We were, we that must have been close. traumatic for you guys, building that much momentum and then having to shut it down. It was. And, you know, looking back, it's pretty funny because I remember us thinking, oh, we'll just postpone it, like, two weeks. And, right. you know, we can open in May. That'll that two weeks fine. kept getting two more weeks, two more weeks to um, multiple years. And But so grateful that we been able to now finally four years later bring it to life with and how does that feel like finally seeing it on the stage I mean this is now must feel like a child yeah. <laughs> seriously now a four-year-old child a four-year-old child. Four child. <laughs> child some of us from the original cast are in it four of us and then there are three new people Caitlin wasn't with us the first time around so we're absolutely thrilled um, to have her as our music director this time oh, that's great that's great. Now, you guys have some benefit concerts coming up, including um, your inaugural show, correct? Right. Opening night next Thursday, the 21st, is a benefit for GCAP Greater. You haven't written yes, that, right? Yes, yeah, it's the Greater <laughs> Community <laughs> AIDS Project. Project. There we go. And um, half of the proceeds will go towards that cause. Um, super important and super relevant for the show. Mm -hmm. And that's your opening performance on uh, March uh, 21st. Mm -hmm. And then 10 days later, on March 31st, you guys are doing another benefit performance for the Urbana Jewish Federation. Yeah, Champa CUJF, Champagne Urbana Jewish Federation. And um, that happens to be on Easter. So it's a, um, that performance is actually selling quite well and I'm Jewish we have another Jewish cast member who's going to be playing my son that day and so it'll be a fun way to um, fill the house and 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 celebrate the Federation there well that's awesome and you guys are running for a full three weeks of performances and so a lot of opportunity to go see the show and we're going to connect our viewers on our website after um, the, today's show, but um, stay tuned because coming up after the break, it's going to be your first look at a scene from the production. And uh, again, in the meantime, find more details on the shows and tickets and everything else at CILiving.tv.